Hey, what's up guys? Joseph here. I'm going to do a tutorial video. Hopefully uh, the sound's not too much. Um, basically I'm going to be spraying and uh, showing you a technique that I've kind of formulated. Well, one second, I'm forgetting something. Okay, so basically, I'm going to do it on a test spoon, and uh, just work from there. I have a black primer, I've decanned, put this guy in here. Right now, my uh, water, which I usually use for primers, um, thicker paints, uh, the MAC valve, I'll show you this part right here, the um, seals in it are messed up and um, it's not spraying right. Kind of frustrating. So I'm using my Badger, which is a lot smaller uh, nozzle. And uh, remember when you spray, start it, and go across evenly. Now I should be wearing my mask, but you wouldn't be hearing what I'd say. Um, Do a few light coats, you know, let it dry. These are lacquers, so they dry fairly quick. Try to do nice even coats when you're doing your primer. Prevent any type of sanding that you might have to do from non-even coats. You look at it through the light, you can still see a little bit of light in areas. Or just for a test, this will do. I might do actually a little bit more. Now this technique I'm going to show you is based off of um, air tool stencil. It's like a stencil stuff in a can. I was looking at it and it almost mimics the look of carpet cleaner when it's sprayed out. Well, when you spray it out, it's in blotches can't really do that too much in small scale. They have a tip that's for smaller scale, but not to the point that it's this size. So there we go. Primer down. Bam. Let that dry for a second. So I was looking at the application and just thinking, what what can I do to mimic this? Um, I was looking at uh, a car design, a paint pattern. I was like, man, what what could I do to, you know, replicate that mimic it? And so I came up with this harebrained idea of using. Um, shaving cream and the scent is kind of the same concept as what they were doing uh, I haven't got to try like the Barbasol kind which honestly I think would work a little bit better than the gel kind I only have the gel kind here 
So basically what I'm going to show you is the application of what I figured out. Let that dry just a little bit longer. You'll see why I want to do that. And if you're wondering what this application could be good for, it works great if you're doing camo. Uh, I did some test spoons, I already got rid of them. Uh, the one looked like a perfect camo design, it was perfect. Uh, it's like a nice natural camo look. Um, really nice. Uh, if you want just texture all the way around, depending on how light and how heavy you do this depends on how it'll look. You can do a lot with it. Uh, so yeah, another thing, just let that primer just kind of dry. Sorry guys. I shoot one shots here. Um, I'm also my stray. I'm doing effects on it. Hopefully it just doesn't look too dark with the light behind it. That's a piece and also this piece. I'm about to seal these guys up with clear. This piece really like how I'm masking this and doing this. I think it's gonna look really good when it's done. Alright. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of this radial tissue paper, uh, paper towel or anything, spray a little bit on there, okay? I'm gonna dip my finger into it get a little bit and I'm going to start applying it in areas the more that you apply the more of an effect you're going to get and I'll kind of show you that down here all right kind of spotty it out a little bit some here some there work your other areas Okay, so you just apply it just like that. Let's see, what color should I do? That's some of this. I don't even know what color I want to do. Um, Give me some of this white here. Alright. So basically, you just put it on there and just spray. As you spray, you're going to know the sun's going to go away. Hey, that's alright. Get a good layer on there. And what I'm going to do next, take a damp cloth and wipe it away. Let that dry a second. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there we go. Should have done that earlier. This is the effect. So you let that dry, and that's pass number one. Take some more, spot it around, depending on how you want to do it. You can do this in certain areas, all over. I'm doing all over, just trying to show you guys an all over effect. 
so like that with your cream and you spray again like that just spray it again let it dry a second damp cloth over it And what's happening is it's starting to build texture layer. You can kind of see it in there. Alright, let me hit this some more. Okay, there's a nice thick layer on it. Spraying it kind of thick. The reason why I'm spraying it thick is because I'm wanting it to kind of push that around and do its thing. Make textures and stuff. Damn cloth, run it over. Get that stuff off. You may need a couple damn cloths to make sure you know all the stuff's off. As you can see. It's textured out and there's different layers. Now, I'll let this dry. I'll throw some of this orange that I have on here. Show you some effect here. Uh, kind of doing some shade effect. Blend it in here. Sorry about the long pause in between, guys. It's one of the problems about just shooting straight without no editing. Right, let me get some of my orange here. Right. So got some of my orange. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, let me take some of the creamy foam here and spread it around. This I'm going to do with the first pass, a nice heavy splotch everywhere. Pretty heavy. heavy coat you can't really see too much of the orangey I mean just a little bit hit that with that damn towel coming off all right as you can see starting to get a little bit of orange in there let me hit it again I'm a little bit more sporadic here. There you go. I'm going to hit this with a nice, really good coat of this. Alright. 
And you notice the orange a little bit more. Again, let me just wipe it off. As you can see, the orange is in there. Let me dry this really well. Enough of the noise. Okay, let me come over here to my messy, messy desk at the moment. Basically, what I'm going to do is let's get some good light. There we go. This is what we get. And you can do tons of different variations of this. You can do stone, um, just texture, weathering. Uh, ton a ton a ton of just different stuff depending on your paint that you're using uh, what effect you're going for um, and everything it was a cool little technique that I just stumbled upon just by seeing one product it was like well how can I do that with Gumpla and uh, sorry this was kind of a long video for such a simple technique I'll run it through real quick again uh, put your primer down um, use either one or two color maybe three however you want to do this uh, splot on your uh, face shaving cream um, I haven't used Barbasol yet it probably works just as well uh, spot it on spray it wipe it off spot it on spray it wipe it off you may need a few paper towels I recommend some damp ones but that's the whole tutorial guys hope you like it have fun keep painting Thank <laughs> you.